Hey guys, I'm back with another behind the scenes editing episode 24 little video thingy. And uh, today I'm going to talk about sound editing and I am in no way any any kind of sound editing master or professional or anything. But um, I've learned a lot through the years I've been doing the show and overall tricks and stuff. And uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about uh, sound editing and also sound effect layering which is something very big that I do and um, I I take a lot of kind of pride in, in how I layer sound effects and um, yeah I'll just talk about that but um, first of all ground rule um, this purple track and most of the green track are all um, dialogue so it's a ground rule for me like whether I'm recording uh, lines for the series, lines for someone else, um, recording for the histor historical marathon, anything that I do that involves my mic, I always noise cancel and equalize. Um, so I, mo I mostly noise cancel. Sorry if you hear this desk scratchy thing. Um, I mostly noise cancel because I am in a room where uh, it gets hot if I don't have a fan on me. So I have a fan on the other side of me. It's not pointing towards the mic at all, so it doesn't disturb the mic, but it does make a low hum. And my computer fan itself hums a little bit too. So I always noise cancel, and it always comes out sounding pretty pretty good, I, I think. And then I equalize it a little bit to give it a little more treble, um, to make it sound a little more crisp. Uh, so that's what I do. I do that on Audacity. I don't do that on Vegas, because I think equalizing on Vegas gets kind of annoying. Um, it's much easier on Audacity, and you can noise cancel on Audacity as well. Um, but that might be a tutorial for another day. Anyway, um, so once I have all the lines recorded and everything, I put them in here, and I'm actually not done. Uh, like, basically what I do is when I'm finished, like, completely, finally done with the episode, I watch it all the way through in Vegas, and then, uh, volumize it, quote-unquote, which is basically I just tone everything volume-wise to sound good and proportioned because you know while you edit you can be editing on this is probably really boring with just that still of sonic um while you edit it's uh you you might you're probably going to be editing at a certain volume level and then once you come back to it you know maybe you've listened to music watched videos etc etc and the volume level has changed so it's and you know then your editing volume level has changed too so like what might have sounded um loud before might sound you know quiet so i think it's always a good idea to watch it all the way through for various reasons but especially to volumize everything and to get everything sounding like how it sounds good so uh i have not done that yet um because i am not done with the episode I'm recording this after, right after the last tutorial, but, or the last, um, whatever the other thing I did. Anyway, um, so that's, um, just volume control in, in general. And, um, all right, so let's get into sound effect layering, which is a very big part of my quote unquote job, uh, as making this series. Um, a lot of people when editing, will probably just use like maybe one or two sound effects for a single action when um i mean it's all preference i suppose but in my opinion it sounds a lot better if you have multiple sound effects to convey a single action you know something like this like sonic moving even that is is two sound effects it's this one it's the little whip and then it's this that's the more prominent one that you hear but this one adds a little bit to it you can kind of I mean, silence that dialogue. You can just hear it. Like, it adds just a little tiny bit to it. And that's all about what editing is. It's all about little, um, well, sound effect layering. Um, it's about prominent noises and not so prominent noises. Um, for when the emerald floats up, I don't just use this one. You know, that's the sound of it floating up. But I also use this little sound effect for the rock. Well, it's a rock sound effect, but for the Chaos Emerald to turn, I use this one. And then that becomes... Two sound effects. Uh, you know, and that's mostly like one action and then another action, kind of linked together. But then I do stuff like this. 
And that's multiple sound effects. It's, uh, it's this one up here. The same levitation sound effect. It's the glow sound effect repeated. And then it's also this one. And that is actually uh, impact sound effect from Generations. A lot of these are sonic sound effects. Uh, but I also have a lot of anime sound effects and sound effects from a lot of different things. Um, games and anime are definitely the most useful because for those, you have to make the sound effects from scratch for, for like everything. So when people rip those, like I ripped the SA2 ones, and I, I use the SA2 ones quite a bit in, in this episode. Uh, it's really useful. Okay, so that action, again, with all those sounds. And then that one floating up. Letterman. I have the dialogue muted, so... Oh, Tails talk, though. Okay, this one is a big one. You can see all the different layers of sounds right here, because um, the Chaos Emeralds are being absorbed into Sonic. I'm going to do that frame by frame, and it'll it'll probably glitch out a little bit, because it's a lot of video tracks on top of each other. But you can see the emeralds are, there they go, they absorb into Sonic, and then he becomes Super Sonic. So, for that, I use a lot of different sound effects. So let's just, don't really pay attention to the video, just pay attention to listening to the sounds and how they all sound together. So here, here's the, oh, I also muted the music here, so don't, there's no music to pay attention to. So here's just the sound effects. <laughs> And then uh, the aura even is uh, two different aura sound effects layered on top of each other. So, one more time. And there that is. So that's a bunch of different ones. So let's kind of walk through. This one is the... It's like the charge up kind of sound that I play when they kind of go out. Like that. You can see that happens like right when that happens. Um... And then there are many sounds I use to actually convey them being absorbed into Sonic, like this one. That's a, you know, classic Sonic. I think the one below it is, too. Yeah, I use those two, so let's just play those together. And then, I forgot what this one is at the bottom. Oh, it's another one. It's another classic sound. So, like this. And, you know, even that would be, like, maybe enough, but I don't think that has enough enough impact to it, so I add even more onto this, so I also do this one. That's another kind of charge up sound effect. I do the charge up right here to kind of show them going out, and then this one is like, all right, now they're in Sonic, and this is like the sound of him absorbing the energy. And then I also use this one down here. Kind of like a glowy sound effect. That's actually a Gaia Gate um, sound effect from Sonic Unleashed, I believe. And then, finally, there's this one. So, the story right here... Oh, I forgot, there's actually this one, too. Kind of like the sound for the white fade-out kind of thing. Um, forgot to mention, all of these sounds are the same as in episode 23, when he used the emeralds to transform as well. So, I think it's, um, I think it sounds and looks and just overall feels really good when you have a specific action that's happening and you use you know however many specific sound effects for it but when it happens again you use the same ones to make it consistent you know um it's like when i use uh when i have sonic use sonic wind he does there's like three specific sound effects that i use there's a specific one i use for chaos spear um Consistent sound editing and sound use, I think, adds a lot of depth. And, um, you know, because it's the same action, so it would kind of make the same sound. Um, however, this one right here is new. I put that in there to sound like foreshadowy, what's going to happen kind of thing, because they're using the Chaos Emeralds an awful lot, don't you think? Hmm. We'll have to see what happens with that in the future. But anyway, one more time all the way through. <laughs> See, and maybe even now you can pick out specific sounds that you hear in it. So, the whole process of, like, actual finding sound effects 
to put in and stuff. I usually just search my folders for things that I know. Um, it's easy when things are named. Sometimes things are not. For these, uh, these classic sounds weren't named in my folder. I have them, I think, named now. But I remembered those specific sounds from the classic Sonic games. So... Yeah, I think even those three sound pretty good altogether. But uh, it doesn't have nearly as much impact as I want. And then we have the two auras as well. So we have the first one, which is the more kind of prominent one. Of course, these are from Dragon Ball Z. Um, that's more of like a very heavy, kind of thick aura. And then we have this one as well. Which is a little more faint, but they do combine, and you can hear both of them. And then at the part where the first, where um, his burst aura kind of depletes, I should do a tutorial on the Sonic, supersonic aura as well. But so there's there's a bit where this first aura, can, uh, you know, like the thicker one goes away, and then this one's left. So that sounds like this. And then you just hear this one. Uh, and then... Oh yes, the emerald getting knocked out of Sonic is another heavy sound place as well. What is this one? Thanks! Oh, that's... No, though. I thought that was Sonic's line for a second. Um, so yeah, this is another sound-heavy section. Um, so let's go... Let's play through it, and then... Well, actually, let's... Not mute that one and mute... The, well, I don't want to mute that one. Um, okay, so let's play through it all at once, and then we'll kind of go through. So, I think so. Ah! Again, don't pay attention to the laggy video. It's okay. I think so. Ah! Okay, now what does that look like when it's just specific sounds? Well, first we have this. Ah! Oh, well, that's actually just Sonic's shout. And then this is actually him falling over. And then... The actual emerald sound effects we have right here. Kind of like a plasma soundy, like, warp shoot, almost. That's kind of the sound of them, like, being sucked out of Sonic. Um, even though it plays a little before it actually happens on screen. And then we have this one right here. Kind of like energy wear off. I think that's actually, like, Dark Gaia energy field deplete or something like that. Forgot this blue one right here. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Um... Just kind of trying to not keep this super long, because I have a, another couple sections I want to show. We have this sound right here. That's kind of like this one, just a little more deep and bassy. Uh, and then we have these two right here. Oh, that's actually just an add-on to the Sonic falling down. I think this one is actually just repeating what the other one is when it's um, they're absorbed into him. And then we have this... <laughs> Same one repeated from when it's, you know, that's like the general sound of transformation, whether it's happening to Supersonic or from Supersonic. So that's kind of where that one comes comes in. We have this one right here. That's like a bassy, like, I think this one's actually from SA2. Um, that one's like a bassy, like, all right, there's no energy. Like, like it's kind of, it's gone. And then there's this one as well, which is kind of like, it's like a bass rumble, so it actually starts before all the rest of them do as to kind of lead into it. So that's how... Let me mute the dialogue, and then it sounds like this. No, not solo. Mute it. It's there. Ah! Like it kind of ah! comes in right there. Um, okay, so let's show another big section of... Actually, this whole spiel with the emeralds happens again with Shadow. Hmm. Same sound effects. In fact, I made his, uh, this one down here, I made it even louder for Shadow because he can't even sustain his super form for as long as Sonic did. Um, and then, you know, he goes super, where is that? Right here. And his aura is actually a different color. I'm going to talk about the auras later. Okay, so... The next big sound section is Sonic's Nightmare Sequence. So the whole uh, sequence actually has ambient sound in it, which I don't I don't use any music in this section. I only use the, the ambient sound because I think it works a lot better. 
Oh, I forgot to mention that uh, back here in the night scene, I only use cricket sounds. Let me just solo them so you can hear them. I can barely even hear them because I have my headphones very low. But I have a very faint cricket sound playing throughout that and no music. Um, I think a big part of learning a lot about sound editing and, you know, placing some music place, uh, you know, like putting this one here and what goes well with this scene. I think another part of it is actually learning when to not use any music at all because you don't want the music to distract. You only want it to add. So just kind of keep that in mind. Um, Okay, so here's Sonic's Nightmare sequence. So the first sound I built this all on is actually a loop that I have right here. And actually what that is, it's a slowed down um, interference like glitch sound effect from a glitch pack that I have. Um, I just slowed it down and looped it. And that's the general sound you hear all throughout. Also, when the blur kind of conforms to sonic shape, I have this sound. Actually, it's the same sound as I had I put onto the Chaos Emerald absorption, whatever. Um, and that sounds like this. It's really low. Um, and then there's also oh, I did I did put this right here. It's very faint, and you probably can't even tell in the normal episode, but it's like a kind of a vinyl, um, like, just noise. Like, it's just vinyl noise, like, no music, but I don't know how to describe it other than that. And then there's also this one throughout the entire sequence as well, which is just a very bassy kind of rumble, and it gets louder at the end. Everything gets louder at the end, in fact. So, here we have... An emerald? The shining it of the It looks like it's coming right towards me. Whoa! So even this right here is two sounds. It's this one and this one. It's another whip. Um, so those two combine to sound like this. I probably could have used a better sound effect for this section, but um, I think it I think it works. And I couldn't I don't I didn't really know what to convey. I wanted it to kind of be shooting across the screen right there. Um, here we have the glow loop again. And the other emeralds come in. And then for those emeralds coming in, I use the same sound effects for when they all hover up in the air. I forgot to show it back there, but... That's two sound effects. That's this one. And this one. So those two combine like this. And then the emeralds getting their... The lightning zapping the color out of the emerald sounds like this. Oh, and then they lose their color. That's just one sound effect for their color being lost. And then over here is the actual lightning sound, which sounds like this. Oh, I still have the glow. Being... It's, it's just two sound effects. It's two classic sound effects, actually. It's this one. And this one. Oh, wait. And this one. Both of which are from Three and Knuckles. And then there's also this static kind of under under sound to it, which sounds like this. And then it gets quieter when it cuts to Sonic, and then it gets louder again. So the lightning is just repeated throughout. And then when they lose their... Well, they lose their color, it's just the one sound effect. It's just this. Just that. And then when the symbol appears on the emerald... That is two sound effects together. It is this one. Well, let me play it together. It's this one. It's, it sounds like this. That is, I believe, two sounds from the Chaos boss fights in Sonic Adventure. Um, so here's the first one. And I think that one's actually slowed down and maybe even pitch shifted too. And then it's this one. Oh no, this is the one that I... That's definitely from the Chaos fight. That That is... I believe slowed down. Um, but yeah, it's those two working together like so. And they continue down over there as well. And then the big like sound part, which I'm very um, 
proud of for this episode comes in to play right here when the sequence is ending and everything's getting loud. So let me play that and just take a listen. Uh, oh, this one too, I forgot. Just take a listen to all of this together and then I'll kind of separate it and then that'll be the end of the video. So here it is all together. And then cuts to Sonic. <laughs> Phone ringing. Okay, so that's a lot of sounds altogether. First of all, we have Sonic's kind of, um, I don't know how to, discomforted, kind of like, I uh, like my head's hurting. Of course, that's just me. That's my fabulous voice. Um, this interference glitch ambience kind of gets louder as it goes on. So just take a listen to this. And then it peaks right about there. That's still kind of like a very quiet part of all of this. There's still a lot going on underneath. So under that we have this. That happens two times. You can't even really hear that um, with everything. Maybe very faintly. Um, and then we have this again. Oh, we have uh, uh, four of them, actually, so it sounds more like this. I guess just more impactful. They don't You don't really like hear a difference between the two tracks, because they're mostly the same. And then we have this. Oh, we have a fucking other one. Jesus, how many did I put, put in there? Um, okay, and then we have... I'm going to actually show that one last. Here we have a sound that starts and then peaks. So like this. And what that is, it's actually a slowed down and pitched version of this. Of the phone ringing. Because that's actually what wakes him up and that's kind of what he's hearing. I made it sound a lot more creepy and actually look creepy with this... Um, TV static kind of going over him. But yeah, that's this is before. This is after. Yeah, it actually sounds more like a saw, but... And then, so we have this underneath that. Heartbeat sound effect, I believe that's actually from Generations. That's very faint. I'd be surprised if you picked up on that um, watching the normal episode. Um, if you can tell, it actually gets faster. For only two beats, though, at the end. So that's a, that's a very faint one. And then we have these two big ones down here. Kind of scratchy, glitchy sound effects that get louder. And then, of course, we have this one below it. This is an overall, like, kind of bass, rumbly sound effect. And then we have this one, which is the main one that you hear kind of fade out. Or one of the main ones. This one's really creepy sounding. I, I liked... I like the addition of this one in the scene. And so all of them combine to sound like this. <laughs> Just like that. Uh, hello? Sonic. And there's a couple more things I could show with audio editing, but those are kind of the main chunks of it. Um, the only thing I really say after is um, for this scene, since they're in like a jail cell kind of environment and the walls would probably be kind of echoey, I did put a slight reverb on everything. And um, even the footsteps you hear at the very beginning, right here, where are they, right? First off, no, no. Where did I put those? Um, oh no, this is where it cuts back to them. Uh, right here. If it isn't... They even have a very slight reverb. Oh wait, do they? No, they don't. 
Oh, I forgot to add that. These ones do right here. Let me just uh, add them, add the reverb to this one. There you go. That's impossible. Who could? Hear that slight kind of reverb on it? And I actually, um, it gets, the reverb gets more prominent when it's zoomed out away from them. And when you're closer to them, it's not as loud. So here's like right up in yeah, Sonic's and face. I wonder how that'll go. I'm always up to beat you, though. So if you want to give me a call once you're out, if that's very slight reverb, and then here's uh, Eggman. Ugh, what's the real reason you're here? If There's a shot over here where it, has, where it has both of them. Ah, this is the one that has more reverb. So it actually starts with normal reverb and then gets more prominent. So take a listen. Excuse me, but I implore you to take a look at where I'm standing. It's a jail cell, Sonic. I can't exactly do much while I- That kind of conveys like you're, you're zooming out from them and you hear more echoes. Kind of like the camera's literally placed like right in front of Eggman. And then it's zoomed out and you hear him from this over here and it's more echoey. So anyway, this video has gone on a little longer than I had hoped. But uh, I hope you learned something. I hope this was at least interesting. And I hope you enjoyed the episode. So thanks for watching.